There are many names for echinacea, such as snake root, Indian head and purple coneflower, to name a few, since there are many types of the plant. It's native to North America and has been used as traditional medicine for centuries, growing in abundance on the prairies and in open wooded areas. The flowers, usually red or violet, bloom in summer and make a lovely bright addition to any garden. Echinacea was used by Native American tribes to cure cuts and scrapes, to treat colds and flu, coughs, sore throats, throat infections, bronchitis, mouth ulcers, herpes, sinus infections, cold sores, tonsillitis, gum disease, boils, abscesses, ear infections, snake bites, insect bites and stings, burns, rabies and also for healing wounds. Chewing the root of echinacea was believed to cure toothache and stimulate saliva. More research is needed into this healing plant, which has never been given much attention in modern medicine, although it's been used by herbalists for years for treating skin infections and conditions such as eczema, measles, sunburn, canker sores and acne. Echinacea tea is also used in herbal medicine to help combat colds and influenza, and the plant can be found as a supplement in capsule form, tablets, decoctions and tinctures. The three most common types of echinacea used in herbal medicine are purpurea, pallida and angustifolia, which are used in the treatment of ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Since it increases stamina, it helps to fight chronic fatigue syndrome and can also calm anxiety. Echinacea is also used for urinary infections, viral infections, respiratory infections and septic conditions since it's believed to raise the body's resistance to infections. It's also thought to detoxify the immune system, increase white blood cells and assist to combat allergies. Echinacea is a natural anti-inflammatory and deserves more research so we can know exactly how this plant can help. Search, seek and we will find.